Hey everybody, uh, this is to help you get ready for your test. Uh, this is part two on your test on polynomials and factoring. So if you haven't seen uh, the first uh, part one, you guys take a look at that. Also, your test will have uh, uh, half of that, which is part one, and the other half is on this lesson here. All right, so let's go ahead and factor us here. So this is x squared plus 2x plus, uh, minus 8. When it's just a 1x squared, then it just goes a binomial times a binomial. And all you got to do is put an x in the first one and the second one. And then factors of negative 8 that add to 2 are 4 and negative 2. So x plus 4. Whoops, that's supposed to be an x minus 2. Whoops, I made a mistake right there. That's supposed to be an x minus 2. Let me get that squared away because that's going to follow us the whole uh, video there. So, whoops, so minus 2. Let me get that in there. Sorry. Uh, okay, so that's going to be, I'm just going to know what I'll do. I'll just take that, copy. All right. Okay, so here's the next one here, you guys. Uh, factors, of, did you see what I did? Of negative 32 that add to 4 are positive 8 and negative 4. Let's see if I got that one correct. I did. Poof. Okay, um, so uh, positive 8 times negative 4 equals um, uh, negative 32, and these two add. Now remember, if I asked you to foil this out, which was in part one, it would take you to this answer. Factoring, this factor answer, is the opposite of foiling. If I went over here and foiled this out, it would take me back to this. Okay, so um, uh, let's try another one here, you guys. So here we go. Um, so here we're going to pull out a negative 2 out of all of those. So I'm going to pull a negative 2 out because I don't want the first term to be not a negative 2. I can't pull a negative out of that. Golly, I'm being Looney Tunes tonight. I'm going to pull a negative out. You can't have a negative. Well, you can. It's just easier to factor if you if you um, uh, pull a negative out and make it a positive quadratic right there. Okay, this is what I called smiley face factoring, you guys. If you multiply these two numbers right here, 2 times 9 equals 18, you guys. And then you start asking yourself, what other factors of 18 add to 9? Okay, and 18 also equals 6 times 3. So we're going to replace this 9x with uh, 6x and 3x right there, okay? So that's, I'm just going to uh, replace this. That negative is going to stay there, and it's going to be 2x squared, and I'm going to change this to um, 6x plus 3x right there. So watch, there it is right there, okay? Um, I hope you're not fixated on what I'm doing there, so it's just saving time. So here's this 9x. 6x and 3x. And now we're just going to factor this guy by the grouping method right there. All right, let me slide that up. Okay, so it slid up right there. Now I'm going to group those two. So I just change colors and I'm grouping the first two. I'll go back just so you can see what I did right there. Okay, so there's 2x squared plus 6x and then plus 3x plus 9. So I'm going to group the first two in parentheses and group the second two in parentheses and GCF out. What can we GCF out of a 2x squared? and a 6x. We can pull a 2x out of this. We pull a 2x out of this, then uh, we'll be left with x plus 3. We can pull a 3 out of this, and we're going to be left with x plus 3 again. So imagine if I said distribute this 2, 2x through. It would take me back upstairs right here. So GCF a 2x out of the first two, GCF a 3 out of the second two, and then notice they both have that red x plus 3, so we'll pull that red x plus 3 out and we're left with the stuff that's hanging out with the red x plus 3. This 2x plus 3. There it is right there. 2x plus 3. Okay, there's the answer. Don't forget your negative. Okay, I've got several of these, you guys. Here's another one, you guys. You can do guessing and checking if you, if you have a different teacher that's telling you how to do that and you're getting good at that. That's fantastic. I'm not, I'm not good at the guessing and checking method. I like doing this way. So 6 times negative 5 is negative 30. Factors of negative 30. Well, 1 times 30. No, 2 times 15. There it is. 2 and 15. Okay. So I'm going to make it uh, negative 2 times 15. All right. So we're going to replace this 13y with negative 2y plus 15y. Okay. There it is right there. Okay. Then we're going to, just like last time, we're going to uh, group the first two and group the second two. Okay, so um, I'm going to pull a 2y out of both of these. So 2y goes into this, 3y, and then 2y goes into that 1. I'm going to pull a 5 out of these, and we're going to get the same 3y minus 1. Okay, then the 3y comes out, 3y minus 1 comes out, and you're left with the blue stuff tagged with the red stuff right there. There it is. Pretty slick, huh? All right, try it again, you guys. 15 times 4 is 60. 
Let's see, 1 times 60, no, 2 times 30, no, 3 times 20, there it is, 3 times 20 equals 60, okay? So I'm going to rewrite 23x with 3x and 20x, and then group the first two, group the second two, so there they are, going to group the first two, pull out a 3x and pull out a 4 out of the second two, and you're left with the common uh, 5x plus 1. Whoops, I did it again, that's a plus 1 right there. Let me fix that, golly. <clears throat> okay, so um, we're going to pull out that common 5x plus 1 right there. And I didn't copy and paste that. So there's our final answer right there. Does that make sense, you guys? Okay, so 5x plus 1, 3x plus 4. All right, let's try this guy here, x squared minus 81. Okay, when you see a difference of squares, you guys, x squared minus y squared, they always factor to conjugates, x plus y times x minus y. So you have to recognize x squared minus 81 is x squared minus 9 squared. So it's x plus 9, x minus 9. All right, use that trick with this one. Except this one, you're going to have to pull a 12 out. 12 goes into both 12 and 48. So when you pull that 12 out, it gets us that. And that's a perfect square. That's, a, that's 1 squared. This is 2x quantity squared. So 1 squared minus 2x squared. Well, x squared minus y squared is this. So this is going to be 1 plus 2x, 1 minus 2x. Don't forget your 12 that you pulled out. Okay, let's try this one. Okay, this is called a perfect square trinomial. Okay, if it's a perfect square trinomial, it gives us a binomial squared. Now, you could do this, you guys. This is also easy. Factors of 100 that add to 20, well, 10 and 10. So this factors to x plus 10 times x plus 10, or x plus 10 squared. But whenever you have a perfect square trinomial, trinomial means one, two, three terms, three terms. That's a perfect square. That's a perfect square. Then it always, this sign goes right here, the plus sign. The square root of the first guy goes here. The square root of the second guy goes here. Okay, works every time on those, all right? All right, here's this one. Okay, here, this is the one I was thinking of. you got to pull out a negative 2. So when I pull out a negative 2, it's going to change all the signs. It's going to change that to a negative and this one to a positive. And again, we have a perfect square, a perfect square, a trinomial. This is going to be a binomial squared with this sign in the middle right here. So we're just going to square root the left and right. So the square root of this one is y. The square root of this one is 8. So y minus 8. Okay, remember, this sign goes in the middle. Don't forget your GCF, your negative 2. All right. Okay, this one, we're going to do factoring by grouping. Whenever you have four terms, 1, 2, 3, 4, whenever there's four terms, then we factor by grouping. Okay, so group the first two together, group the second two together, GCF out out of the first two and the second two, and we're left with the common y plus 3, so they can come out, and you're left with uh, the blue stuff, y plus x. Okay? All right, and if we foiled this out, the red guy and the blue guy together, it would foil out and take us back upstairs to the top right there. But remember, factoring is the opposite of foiling. Okay, do it with this one. Okay, we're going to group. Remember, when I group this one and put a parenthesis around it, this negative is going to change this to a plus 12. Okay, so there it is right there. This green negative became a, uh, uh, made this, uh, this guy plus right here because we pulled out a negative. Imagine if I said distribute this negative back through. It would give us negative 8x. Hey, hey there it is. It would give us negative 12. Wow, there it is. Okay, so here we're going to GCF out of x squared. Here I'm going to pull out a 4, and you get the common uh, 2x plus 3 when you do that. Okay, and then pull out the 2x plus 3, and... Look, I didn't put a box over that because that's not the answer. The direction said factor completely. Well, this is a problem right here in itself. Factor this x squared minus 4. That's x squared minus 2 squared. So it's the conjugate thing. It goes x plus 2, x minus 2. Okay, so this x squared minus 4 now is x plus 2, x minus 2. There's my 2x plus 3. So there's the factored completely answer. Isn't that great? Okay, so here it goes. We're going to solve now. So same thing, got a factor, factors of 26 that add to 13. Boy, my students struggle with this today. It's 13 and 2, you guys. 13 times 2 equals 26. Okay, and those guys add to 15. So now the zero product property says we can set those factors equal to zero once we get it factored. So subtract 13, subtract 2. And we get x equals negative 13 or x equals negative 2. Okay, a little bit more smiley face. 4 times uh, 3 is 12. Other factors of 12 are negative 4 times negative 3. So I'm going to rewrite that negative 7x with negative 4x and negative 3x. And then don't forget, when I wrap this in parentheses, that negative is going to change this to a minus 3 on the inside right there. Okay, there it is right there. 
Okay, and then I'm going to pull a 4x out of here. I'm going to pull a 3 out of here, and I'm going to be left with x minus 1. So the x minus 1's come out, and now we can set by the zero product property. Those two factors equal to zero, so I'm going to add 1 to both sides. On the other one, we're going to add 3 and then divide by 4, so we get x equals 1 or 3 fourths. All right, let's try one more, you guys. Okay, here we have another perfect square trinomial. That's a perfect square. That's 2x quantity squared. That's 9 squared. It's a trinomial. These always factor into a binomial squared. Check it out. The square root of this is this. The square root of this is this. This sign goes in the middle. These factors so easy. They're so easy. It's frustrating because you don't see it. Okay, so that's 2x minus 9 times 2x minus 9. So you set those factors equal to 0. Well, they're the same factor, so I'm just going to solve one of them. I get 9 halves. And since there's two of them right here, it's called a double root, you guys. So dr. Okay, so I don't know if your algebra book uh, says double root. Sometimes you get triple roots also. Okay, that's the end of this great story, you guys. And good luck on your test. Take care.